Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Auto Tutorials. This is Super Sam once again, and in this very episode, I'm going to show you how you can render selected region in Blender 2.82. So let's get started. <music> Rendering selected region can be a huge time saver when it's added to your workflow. For example, in our case here, we rendered about 600 frames of this shot and later realized there was a problem. So we had to use selected region rendering to save a lot of time. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So for this shot, say I want to render this part of the screen and not the entire window. All I need to do is use my shortcut Control B, and this cross A appears. You can see the feedback here. So I can draw over the image to define the region I want to render. So I'm fine with this, and bam. Now my selected region is active, but you can't see it now because I'm currently on EV. So I'm going to change my render engine from EV to Cycles even though this works for both EV and Cycles, but you can't see the live feedback with EV for now. But if I render this out with EV, I'm gonna see it, okay? So for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna switch to Cycles right now. And you can see, this is the region I selected. So this is where I wanna render, okay? That's one way to do it. Now, if you want to clear this rendered region, you can use the shortcut Ctrl, Alt, and B to clear. As you can see, I have the region back to um, the normal um, resolution that I initially had. So, so if I have Ctrl, B, you can see my render region. This shows it is active. So if I uncheck, it means I cleared the render region and if I check it back, it means my render region is active as you can see. And uh, there are other properties I want you to know if you want to use the render, the selected render region. The first one is this cropped render region. As it is now, without checking cropped render region, if I render this out, I'm going to have my resolution exactly the same way it looks here and my cropped image in the center. But if I check on crop to render region, every other part outside my render region would be cropped away. And uh, to show you the feedback of how this looks like, I already rendered several images using the settings. Now this first one is my render without anything, without defining my render region. So this is the old frame. Now the second image here has the defined render region, but I still have this entire space to it. So if I render this out, I'm going to have my, my rendered image in the center and this transparent uh, uh, border around it. Okay, I make sure if you need something like this, make sure you have your PNG file format activated. If not, you won't have transparency. This part will be grayed out and that can uh, affect your, your, your entire plan in a bad way, if you know what I mean. That means you'd have to take it to Photoshop and start cropping unnecessary uh, extras. So it's best you just have your file in PNG format so you have your transparency. Now the third image here, was rendered using the, the crop region activated. This very one I just showed you. Yeah, this very one I just showed you. So if I activate this, I'm gonna have this. So this is gonna eliminate any extras around the border. That is if you don't want such, okay? But if you, if you need the extra border for one reason or the other, it's best you uncheck it, okay? So this is, how to use your selected render region in Blender 2.82. I hope you've learned one or two things from this video. This is where I'm gonna call it a wrap. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel if you've not done so, and until next time, keep your creativity blending.